Hey, Steve Mignani here with a tale of two Chevelles. I'm here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts. And here is a 66 and here is a 67. These are both Chevelle SS 396s. And a lot of folks say, well, they're basically the same car with a different grille, right? Well, not so fast. You know, the closer you look, the more things you'll see are very different. While the frame and the basic body tub were shared 66 to 67, almost everything else externally is different. Let's break it down. Starting with the hood, we can see here the 1966 hood has a chrome lip along the front, sort of a curve here, and in the middle is a chrome prow. And of course, being an SS, a big block car, we have the uh, vents here that are fake, but they look awesome, as most muscle car hoods of the day didn't do anything but look really cool. Now, 1967, the hood is actually very different. It's abbreviated much shorter at the front, doesn't come down. The center prow, the chrome is not there. It's not even an option. It's gone, whether it's a six cylinder or an SS. But again, as an SS, this does have a different power bulge hood. Similar theme, a couple of horizontal vents that don't do anything but look cool. But again, a very different stamping. Uh, let's look under the hood where things are also very different. You can see here, 1967, the underside of the hood uh, is never meant for functional cold air. We know that. 70 on up, you will see holes, but this is nothing uh, that's ever going to be usable. With that said, 1966, the underside of the hood is also never functional, but has a whole different shape, the triangle. So even the underside of the hood was different. So moving forward, the front fenders we see here in 1967. Sort of this pointed design here, looks great for headlights. The SS emblem here, the 396 on the fender. This is 1967, moving over to 66. Well, here's this sort of semi-skirted angle design here. Same four headlights, but very different fender stamping. The bumper is also radically different. You can see here it just sort of curls around, no big peaks or valleys. Here in 67, humps on each end to work with the shape of the front fender. So again, the fronts of these things are radically different. Moving on down the body, we see that, uh, okay, 66, the rally wheels here, these are 67 up, so they're incorrect here. This has drums, but on the other one, uh, we have, of course, first year for the rally wheel, 1967, and there is a disc brake on this car. So yes, disc brakes seen first in 1967 right here, and this is the correct rally wheel. But again, these rally wheels bolt onto any Chevy midsize car, and they're a classic edition, whether it's a 67 or a 66. Now, the A-pillars and the roof stampings are identical between the 66 and the 67, as are the B-pillars, the flying buttress style of, um, of roof panel but you get into the deck lids and they are similar but not the same. Uh, tail lights we can see right here again the rear panel treatment comes around 1967, 1966 the tail lights are a sort of a wraparound design here where they're seen on both sides. Rear bumper again sort of a prow shape and 1967 and 1966 little elbows pumping out here. Now one thing too about the SS396, these are big block cars, they're muscle cars, and a lot of the whole thing was plumage and bragging, and externally the SS396 always had this beautiful SS badge with white letters and chrome numbers underneath. Now here's the thing though, 1966, early dealer brochures did show the taillight cove blacked out, but in production, 1966, it was always body color. But when you get into 1967, well, the rear cove was always blacked out on big block cars, SS396. And speaking of that emblem, we have the same white letters, chrome, uh, chrome numbers, but a very different design. Uh, more of a two-dimensional item versus the three-dimensional piece on the 1966. So that's a very small part of the picture, uh, a tale of two Chevelles, 1966 and 67, similar but not the same. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mignotti YouTube channel. There's a lot more where this came from.